Do you want to learn how to work with layered images in Cricut Design Space on your iPad? This tutorial is for you. I have a couple different tutorials on my website, videos on my YouTube, but they all focus about layers and do it on the computer. This one's specifically for the iPad. So I had someone that wanted to do the Crimson Tide um, logo that you can see here. So I found that on a wiki site and I downloaded the image. So now what I need to do is in Cricut Design Space, I'm gonna do a new project and I'm gonna close my layers panel. Okay, so I'm gonna click on upload. I'm gonna select the image from my library. You can see I have two because this one, the first one had some black in it. So I wanted to get a better image. Okay, so this first image that comes up, this is the preview over here that I'm moving around. You can see it's just a big black circle, but the outer edge of this logo is a big black circle. So I'm gonna click next and I'm gonna save this big black circle as the black layer. Now it's in there. I'm gonna close that. And I'm gonna go upload, select photo from library, select the same photo. Now this time I want to remove the black. So I'm gonna click on the little remove button on the bottom panel and click right on the black and it's, there we go. So it got rid of it mostly, but it um, did leave some little shrapnel, as I like to call it. So you have to go in and erase that shrapnel. And I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Oops, I got into my circle there. So this is hard to do for me because I'm using my fingers and I'm much better with a computer than um, my fingers. So this is why I like to do this on my computer so I can use my mouse instead of this little dot on my finger. But if we're looking at this image, you can see the white goes out almost to the black. So once we clean up this little black edge, we are going to be able to save this as the white layer. And then we'll make another layer that will be the red layer that will go over the top of that. And there we go. I'm going to move my preview over here so I can zoom in on this guy and be able to get rid of those little speckles. Take your time. And this is exactly why a lot of people buy SVG files because this process is time consuming. And it's much easier to just spend a few dollars on an already made SVG file than to do this for every single image you ever wanted to use. Okay, so this one I'm going to save as my white. So I'm just going to call it white. Save. Okay. I know it's just two circles, but it's about getting them the right size. So this one's the black one, I believe. Yep. And then this one is the one that's going to be white. So I'm going to go under edit, change the color to white and hit apply. So now this will go over the top and you can see it will line up. If I select everything, I can use a line to center it on top of each other. And now it's fitting together. Okay, so now let's do the same thing. 
select photo, and now we're going to clean it up for the red. So we want to focus in on the red, which means we want to get rid of the white. So I hit remove on the bottom. I hit the white. I also want to get rid of this outer white and this outer black. And if I look at my preview, I also need to get rid of that center of the A. There we go. And now I got to do that whole little cleanup thing. Oh, I went too far. Go undo. Adjust your circle so you don't have a big, huge circle like I just did. So now I'm doing the same process that I already did. And this is exactly how you would create a layered cutting file. Um, just so you know, this is not an SVG. You can't make an SVG in Cricut Design Space. Um, you just can't. You need a different program called Inkscape, or there's some other programs, but Inkscape's the one I've used. Um, or you can use a SVG converting tool, but you will never, ever, ever be able to make an SVG file in Design Space. It's just not possible. But what this will be is a layered um, Cricut cutting image. So not as good as an SVG, but in a pinch, it could get the job done. Okay, now I gotta zoom carefully so I don't... There we go. I have to be so careful when I zoom in and out so I don't accidentally click on something and erase something I wanted to keep. Okay, that looks pretty darn good to me. Let's go next. Next, save as a cut file, and this is going to be the red layer. And we'll click on that one and insert it. And then we're just going to go down to edit. And no, click on it first. Then go to edit, then go to the color and change it to red. So now that will layer right on top of there. And actually, I can grab all of those and tell it to align and center them all perfectly on top of each other. So the only thing left to do is go back and do the letters that um, say Alabama Crimson, and those would be gray. So for that, I would upload the image one more time, erase all the black, all the white, and all the red, just leaving the gray, and then when I bring it in here, I would change that color to gray. So that's how you create a multiple colored layered image in Cricut Design Space on your iPad. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Give it a thumbs up and like it and drop me a comment if you have any questions and subscribe to my channel so you get updates of all my latest tutorials. Make sure if you ever have a Cricut question, ask it and maybe my next video will answer your question. Thanks.